Alright, we back. This video is going to be a little different. Uh, today was my sister's uh, prom day. She went out, got sent out, you feel me? Fire time, fire time, fire time, fire experience. I'm, where is can I even explain how proud I am of my sister, yo? Really came a long way from that little kid that I used to have to watch. And she used to get on my nerves and shit. She's so old now, nigga. I'm so old, golly. She got sent off today. Fire. They pulled off in a Rolls Royce with it. That's, that's, you feel me? I digress. But today, we got a little mukbang. I feel like doing, because they cooked some Jamaican food at the drawn. So, woo! Oh, my, hold on. I really need y'all to get a, get a, Z. I heated it up. That's why I saw it mixed up. I threw out my microwave, so I had to heat it up in the oven. This chicken, this kind of chicken is rice and it's green beans. Sorry, I don't know the name of the, the chicken. I, I wasn't there when they made it. Nobody told me which one was which. I, you know what I'm saying? A plate was made for me and I humbly and gratefully accepted it. So I feel like eating this a little bit. You feel me? Shit, hot as hell too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I made some lemonade. Oh, that shit a little spicy with it. I'm not mad at that. I love me some spice. The only thing is, shit, mad greasy. I'm not gonna cap. This some good, oh my gosh. Yeah, this the perfect, this the perfect moment. This the, this the perfect way to end this perfect day type shit. So you feel me? We gonna have a little mukbang. I feel like eating and just chilling with y'all for a second and just talking. Uh, I feel like we can do that a little heart to heart, nice little Saturday night. It was either yesterday or the day before. I was planning on re-uploading an old video that I had uh, posted on one of my old channels a couple years ago, like two, three years ago. But when I went back, I didn't even remember that I did this, and I hate the fact that I did this for real. I deleted all the videos off my old channel. I don't know. Well, I don't even remember what headspace I could have been in to delete everything. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I couldn't even private the Jones. Like, why well, I had to delete them? Like, if I was worried that, uh, you know what I'm saying, people would see it, and I still don't know why. I've been making videos as long as long as I've been really in front of cameras for real. I don't understand why I would delete them. I don't know, I really don't know. So the video was gonna be, it was a skit that I made um, in my old crib. It was to the Family Ties uh, by Baby Keem. It was to Family Ties by Baby Keem uh, Kendrick. Basically the moral of it, the, the plot of it was, uh, I was Kendrick recording his verse, you feel me? And I had like a regular outfit on or whatever the fuck I was wearing, like a jersey or some shit. I mean, like a uh, Letterman jacket or some shit. I was I was uh, rapping and I'm dancing like Kendrick was dancing in the video. And then when he gets to that amazing brother, a pop off only on occasion brother part, I turn to the, hold on. So I'm really like facing this way. But then when it gets to that part, I turn to the camera and when I turn, I transition it. So I got like a typical like white man outfit on, like, like retro spectro with the wig on and everything type shit. Like a button up and like glasses and shit. Pop off only on occasion, brother. Rich nigga mama know I made it, brother. And then the person that's like helping him record is like going so crazy. Basically, that was the skit. And um, I was gonna re-upload that just cause I felt like it was kind of on topic. Oh my gosh. This food banging, hold on. This just what I needed, no lie. Damn, this shit falling off the bone and everything. My fault, y'all. I don't really know exactly here. Let me get the food in the, in the shit. Cause I think that's how mukbang's supposed to go. The food's supposed to be in it type shit. But no cap, this shit banging. Hold on, let me get a little bit of everything. Hold up. But I felt like it was on topic to talk about that and upload that video. So today, instead of you know what I'm saying? To make up for that, I'm going to just talk about, like, the the video itself. Just the song and the video itself type shit. And, like, for real, for real, like, the impact that John had, for real. Yo, when that video first came out, I remember exactly where I was. I was, it was uh early, it wasn't that early. It was maybe, like, 11 a.m. or something like that. Maybe earlier than that, like, 10 my homie at the time, he texted me and he's like, yo, and he sent me the link too. Hold on, let me get a towel because this shit is greasy. That grease had my lips on slippery paws. So I remember I was sitting in bed and it was the first thing I watched that, that day, first thing I seen on my phone. And I was watching the video and I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, 
This nigga is creative, dog. Both of them. Like, yo. From like Baby Keem dancing with all the ballerinas around him with the black um the black outfits on. To them like driving in the limo and um Baby Keem being in the back and then the girls moving up. But the camera's following her up the limo, then Kendrick is like driving. He's like, yo, what? And he spits out and starts shooting. Like, it's just so crazy, yet so like so different in a cool way. And at the same time. Damn, that's some good ass lemonade. Oh my gosh. So I thought and then even the switch up where they changed scenes and they had the big ass screens around them and shit, bro. That video was fire, and I watched that video so many times because I love how it was shot too. Like, even on the part where Baby Keem's coming down the stairs, or how they shot it with like how it would be a picture here, then a picture here, and then like a picture here, like how he's sitting in the grass with the line of the ballerinas and shit, or like how he's like chilling in the back of the car with the shawty that's twerking, and, and you know what I'm saying, or like how he's just standing. Like, it seems like weird concepts just speaking it out loud, but when you really see it, you like, yo, like. This is different. This is different. Mm, mm, mm. It's just banging. And then I love how they rap too. Like that era, I can say Baby King was probably my favorite rapper, bro. He was my favorite rapper. I went to his concert too. I'm so hyped that I got to go see that. I am so hyped I got to go see him live in, um, in Philly. He wasn't at the Fillmore. He was at the other John. The one closer to what's it called? But um where Kari performed at. Only only a couple people gonna know what I'm talking about when I say where Kari performed at. Cause be honest with you, this might be a red flag, this might be an ick for somebody. I don't give a fuck. I'm not good with streets. I don't know what I don't know streets. I don't I don't. I've been living in Philly my whole life. I've been living in Upper Derby my whole life. I only know my mama street, because that's where I lived at my whole life. And my homie street, because he lived literally on the next street over from me. Everybody else, you ask me directions, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you shit. I'm not gonna give you no street, turn left on this street, turn left on that street. I'm gonna say, you see that church? Turn left when you get to the church. And you're gonna keep driving, you're gonna pass the two stop signs, and then you're gonna take a right, then you're gonna take a left, and then you're gonna keep going when you pass the school type shit. I don't know streets, I'm sorry, I don't. I got, I got too much shit going on in this noggin. My brain is like a Rubik's Cube. It's hella colors moving around and it's hella slides and bottoms and tops switching around. Corners is moving where they need to go. It's a flying here. He better stay away from my damn Jamaican food. Oh, he wasn't performing at the Fillmore. He was performing at the one near Kari performed at. Only some people gonna know, but at the end of the day, everybody don't need to know. But I was so hyped that I got to see him. I, I think I still got the videos from it too. At least I hope so. Even like how they was rapping on that beat, like different. I was seeing double in the projects, mad at myself, nothing to put it to the side. Huh. Mama had to get it for the coupe that we rode at the school on the way to Popeyes. And niggas want to play both sides. It's a red dot. Don't get on the wrong red eye. It's a headshot. It, when I first heard that flow, mama had to get it for the coupe that we rode at the school on the way to Popeyes. I'm like, yo, it was hitting different. It hit different. I was like, you know what? Baby King is slept on for real at the time, at least. And Baby King got heads. He got heads. He got heads. And I'm not even finna go into it because I'll be here all day type shit. He got heads. So family ties really hit different. And I feel like that started an era type shit. Like we still waiting on on them to drop their little project because then they dropped the Hillbillies and that was a smash hit. That was a smash hit. We gon' fuck up the world, excuse me, but is that your girl? Like, come on now. Come on now. And what's so tough about that shit too is they like on like a like a techno like house beat doing it better. And that's the thing. That was around the same time. Well, I don't think it was around the same time, but it was after Drake dropped Honestly Never Mind. It was a whole project with on house beats and shit. Everybody was hating on that project. I'ma keep it a stack. I'ma keep it a whole stack. You probably not gonna believe me, but I fucked with some of them songs when they first came out. Like, I genuinely was like, you know what? This is nice. Like, the first track, I fucked with it. He said, how do I feel? How do I feel? How to explain in my way that time heals? And he that high note. He said, I'm still. Come on now. I fucked with it. I fucked with it. I fucked with it. I fucked with it. But people didn't. And when I said I messed with it, people didn't believe me. Be honest with you. But that's fine. But they dropped the Hillbillies right after that and was like doing that, like 
house beat techno shit better than Drake. And people still trying to say Kendrick not better than Drake. Come on. Baby Keem and Kendrick was like Batman and Robin. Still to this day, bro. You hear them horns? Nigga, you hear them horns? You instantly know what's up, bro. You instantly know what's up. It's like seeing a bat signal in the sky. You're like, you know what? I gotta go. I gotta go. Something's calling my name. I gotta go. Come on. Come on. And even how it starts is so fire. It's everybody like jumping in the in, in slow-mo and everybody got on all black. And then some people's hair is dyed white. Like, bro. And then, but Baby Keem and Kendrick are the only ones wearing orange. And they're moving through the crowd. And they both going different. Like, it's just tight. It's just tight, bro. It's just tight. It feel like you're watching a movie or a trailer to a movie. Like, yo. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. The other family cooked this. They put their fucking foot in this. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on, these green beans hitting. This is my first time having Jamaican food. No kizzy. Ooh, we fresh out the gate with a banger. Oh my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. And then let me get a sip of the lemonade. Come on now. You already know what time it is. I have, you gotta wash it down with the lemonade. My fault, y'all. But this is what a mukbang is, ain't it? Where we eating, we talking. I'm not editing none of this out. Oh my gosh. I got in my bag with that lemonade. I knew I, I knew I did it right. The moment that when I got that water out the fridge, I don't use the water out the sink. I have cold water ready for me to drink at all times. The moment I pulled that water out the fridge and I seen that condensation on the outside of the jug, I'm like, this finna be a wonderful night. This is a wonderful night to make some lemonade with this water. Damn. There's a lot of rice in here too, but I'm not mad at it at all. It's hella rice in here. It's probably 80% rice, but I ain't never been mad at no rice. Cut it out. Stop it, I'm a grown man. It felt like you was watching a movie, for real. Family ties, come on now. I remember um somebody tweeted on uh, Twitter. I think the tweet said, family ties is like dreams and nightmares for people with ADHD. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, that's funny. But yo, I hear, I hear dreams and, uh, not dreams and nightmares. That too though, whoo. Meek, Meek been going through some shit, especially with that Diddy shit. And he really not helping his case. I just heard, I just seen he dropped a new, pro, uh, not a project, like a new track. But then it's called, uh, from the, coming from the bottom or something like that. Come on, yo. I get it. I know what coming from the, like, coming from the bottom mean. Like, came from nothing. But yo, you know what? I aspire to be like, be like Meek. I'm kind of like that, but you be lying if you say something don't affect you. I aspire to be like that. You got the whole world talking about you, but you just keep going. I, I'm like that. I don't really follow nobody's opinions or nothing like that, but clearly, obviously, it would be to an, ex an extent. If I got the whole world coming at me, I'm gonna start being like, yo, like, all right, all right. Like, I got it. Like, chill. Like, and then they're gonna see that they're getting a reaction out of me. Then they're gonna keep going even more. That's why you can't, you feel me? That's why you can't give them no reaction. Fuck them. Bro, family ties. Family ties is a 10 out of 10. I mentioned in one of the other videos that it's not a lot of songs or projects that are a 10 out of 10. It's a very select few. Family Ties is one of them. Family Ties is a 10 out of 10, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Both parts, too. He said, let me jump in this bitch. Let me jump in this bitch. Two phones, but only brought one in this bitch. One daughter, but they all my sons in this bitch. No hoes and shit ain't done in this bitch. I'm scary. I got a gun in this bitch. Smoking on top fives. Stop playing. I'm that guy. Number two, DM my bitch. That's cool. I don't ask why. Like... Stop playing. Stop playing. Family Ties, be honest with you, like, that was the first one where we was like, you know what? These niggas might be a problem. These niggas might be a problem. And it's the fact that these niggas are cousins. That's fire. That's fire. That low-key give me hope that one day, one of my, me and uh, one of my cousins will, like, link up in the future and really do some cool shit. For real, for real. Cause I'm sure they really wasn't talking like that. They was off doing their own things. I'm not saying that they hated each other or nothing, but I feel like it's the reason we just now seeing Baby King for real. Like, not to say that they just now start linking up, cause Baby King was doing his own thing. I'm just saying like, I feel like we would have seen him somewhere and maybe we have and we just obviously didn't realize it cause we didn't know who he was. Like similar to Thug and Gunna. Like if you go back to a lot of Thug's old music videos, Gunna's in them. We just didn't know who he was. He was just one of the random niggas. I feel like it's a similar case with that, with them. But bro, that was the first one where it was like, you know what? <clears throat> My fault, y'all. Told y'all this shit spicy, but I love it. Damn, that's some good ass lemonade. That was the first one where we was like, you know what? 
We might have to start looking out for for uh, Baby Keem and Kendrick. And I think Baby Keem low key was the first person to really get Kendrick like back into his rap bag for real. Cause around that time he was still more Mr. Like Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Damn was like the height of his like rap rap career. Well, I'm not gonna say like rap rap career because it's all rap. And he's a very very talented, incredible rapper. I'm saying that was like the height of like his like playing in the club raps, like playing on radios, like. Humble, DNA, like, stop playing. Like, come on now. Duckworth, like, Triple X, like, come on now. He got hella tracks on there. But after that, he kind of, like, kind of got into, like, a, a smooth groove type shit. Like, he was just on a, a cool roll where he would push it out. It would be nice. It would be cool, but it wasn't for everybody. Not saying it has to be, but that's just the way it was. But then they, they, they did drop Family Ties. You feel me? And then they dropped Range Brothers. And then they dropped the Hillbillies, like, Family Ties just was the domino effect type shit. That, that's the that's the snowball that turns into a big ass snowball that t destroys the town or something like that. Like, for real, for real, Family Ties was, is what really started it all type shit. And then we still waiting on an album from them called the Range Brothers, or maybe it'll be called something different by now, but be honest with you, Family Ties to me, cause I could be wrong, cause up until now, I really wasn't like, keeping up to date with certain rappers and stuff like that, like especially Baby Keem and them. I wasn't like all the way, like even my favorite rapper, I don't 100% know their life. I get some people that know rappers' lives, like, oh shit, when they were this age, they went to this school, or when they did this, they did that. I don't I don't, I don't know all that. I don't, I don't look into, not saying there's something wrong with that. Hey, you a fan, do what you do. I'm a big fan of people too, but I just don't feel like that. I need to know that for real. Like, what am I doing with that information? Family Charles really, really, really snowballed that whole thing for real. And that's crazy, because look at where we at now. And it's like, the music only gotten better. Shit got pop. Like, for a little bit, I was low-key thinking Baby King was going to pop up in that Drake versus Kendrick beef. Not to say that, because Drake didn't really bring nobody in, so Kendrick really wouldn't have no reason to bring him in. But I'm just saying, like, they just so tight like that. It's just something like Batman and Robin, for real. You see Batman, they'd be like, oh, shit. Where the fuck robbing that? Like, where the fuck? You see Superman in Gotham City. You like, nigga, I know you ain't here by yourself. Where he at? It was a crazy moment for me. And to this day, I can still remember, like, that era and that time. Like, Family Ties was an entire, like, moment in my life. And that really highlighted a special time, like, linking up with the whole... Like, even now, I ever hear that song, and I... That, that's one song... I can rap all the words, all the way through. That's one thing I won't mess up. I can rap that whole song and I won't mess up none of the words. It's that fucking good. <clears throat> I'm trying to talk through the spice, I'm not gonna lie. Damn, that's some good ass lemonade. I can rap all the words, like, all the way through, back to back to back, every line, and I won't mess nothing up, I promise you. I bet anybody $20, I can, I can rap the whole joint, and I put money on it. Family Ties, 10 out of 10, it's a 10 out of 10. And I'm not even going to debate nobody on it. It's a 10 out of 10. Shout out to Baby King. Shout out to Kendrick. Shout out to everybody that had to do with that. Shout out Top Dog. Shout out all them niggas, bro. For real. Because y'all been heavy hitters in the game for a good little minute. A good little minute. I think that's all I'm going to talk about for today. Shout out to y'all. Thank you for coming through with me. I'm hoping maybe y'all had something to eat while we talked about this. I hope y'all have a nice little night. Shout out to my sister one time. I'm happy for you if you're seeing this. You know that I'm happy for you, for real. And I'm happy for y'all. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to us. We back. I took I took like a two-day break just because, like, you feel me? Just started a new job, and everything was chopping my ass a little bit. But we back every day with it. We back every day with it. So subscribe, like, comment, do everything you're supposed to do because we back every day. We back every day. If you don't subscribe, you're not going to know. You're going to miss out. Like, what? We here every day. So you don't got to question it. We here every day. I miss two days, and that's fine. Everybody get a little weekend break. You don't work every day, but I do. So I'm going to get back on it. Shout out to y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. And let me get this with me, too.